welcome again everyone in last uh, video i talk about gas processing particularly adiabatic efficiency of a compressor and uh, turbine and their uh, uh, calculation in high seas in this video we will mainly discuss about a very important phenomena called surge in centrifugal compressors and the learning objective of these tutorials are we will learn the search phenomena what is it what are the cause and effects and uh, why search happens in compressors and then we will learn compressor performance curves different elements of compressor performance curve in the end we will analyze a compressor uh, for search and the stonewall condition using aspen high seas so first thing is what is compressor surging when the compressor loses its ability to develop the pressure head due to the low inlet flow the gas uh, flow rate the uh, the reversal gas flow from the discharge side to the suction side starts and this condition is called surging uh, actually surging a surge a point or the, for such point is the minimum limit of inlet flow rate it, for a centrifugal compressor uh, below which it should not be operated so what are the possible uh, causes that uh, uh, resulted finally a surge of a compressor the causes are sudden plant trips power failure some utility failure, uh, compressor suction heat exchanger leakage or suction filter choke, intercooler leakage or discharge valve uh, failure. So these are some uh, possible reason of compressor surging. And what are the effects if compressor goes on surge? These are listed here. Definitely unstable flow and pressure and it damage to the seals bearings impellers shafts due to the very high vibrations and noise during search and uh, also it increased the seal clearance and shorten the overall compressor life and ultimately lower energy efficiency like centrifugal pumps centrifugal compressor performance is also characterized by the performance curves and these curves are also supplied by the vendor of uh, compressor these curves are plotted between polytropic head and the volumetric flow inlet volumetric flow so with increasing the volumetric flow inlet volumetric flow the polytropic head decrease and uh, the uh, for, for different impeller speeds you will have a different uh, performance curve speed one is the higher speed compared to the speed two and these uh, this pink line is called the surge line that is the uh, ultimate or the maximum uh, polytropic head uh, that this compressor can uh, uh, make on this particular flow rate if the flow rate goes below this uh, compressor will go on a surge so we should not operate compressor at this particular point this is uh, this green line is called anti surge line what is it i will explain in coming uh, slides similarly the stone valve or the choke flow what is it and uh, 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 either compressor should operate on this point or not i will explain in coming uh, uh, slides uh, usually compressors are operated between a stone wall point and anti-surge line so this this is the operating region for a compressor so let's go to the next slide and what is the anti-surge line surge control uh, flow is usually 10% higher than the surge flow and it varies with the compressor speed and uh, there are very specialized anti-surge system for different kind of processes and they are mainly dependent on the gas which is being processed for example if air is being processed 
the discharge valve vent will go to the atmosphere but on the other hand if some hazardous gas is being processed uh, the vent will not go to atmosphere but it will uh, send back to the suction uh, via two routes hot bypass or cold bypass so we will learn these two things in high seas and you will see uh, how these two routes uh, effects to avoid the surging of a compressor so now what is the stone wall or choke flow stone wall or the choke wall uh, choke flow condition occurs when the fluid velocity inside the compressor reaches to the sonic velocity on the other hand we can say it is the maximum flow limit in the centrifugal compressor and uh, this uh, this condition is not that much uh, dangerous like the surge condition but one should not operate compressor below uh, the stone wall so now we will analyze uh, a surge condition of a centrifugal compressor in high seas during two different scenario one is uh, if the compressor is running and then suddenly total power loss occurs or we are just uh, uh, shutting down the plant in a control way so in these two condition uh, our compressor that is going to work on these uh, inlet and outlet conditions uh, how it will uh, behave during these two scenarios during total power loss and during control shutdown scenario so i would recommend here pause the video for some second and note on these condition as we will use these conditions in high seas so it will be easy for you to to put data in coming uh, in coming uh, high seas uh, calculations so these are the gas inlet condition gas outlet condition gas composition please note down all these values also you will have to note down uh, the performance curve data that is provided by the vendor of the compressor so you have to note down these curve value we will use these curves uh, value uh, and we will generate performance curves for this compressor so curve one at speed 7532 so this is the data for the first curve this is data for second curve now this is the data for third curve and the fourth curve so the maximum speed on which compressor is going to run is 13,181 rpm so these are the four uh, performance curves of this compressor that we are going to simulate in high seas so I hope you already uh, noted the data just pause the video for some second and just note it down okay in next slide you should also write down the surge flow curve and stone wall curve as we will also draw these two curves as well in high seas so this is uh, all the data that is provided by the vendor and uh, we are going to use this data to analyze compressor surge in high seas so let's move to the high seas Well, now we are in high seas environment. The first thing is just uh, to specify the components which are given in the problem statement. So the components are methane, ethane, propane. I just selected three of them. And uh, the other two are nitrogen. So just press N2 and uh, here nitrogen is selected. And uh, the last one is carbon dioxide so just write co2 press add so the components are uh, specified the second thing is the fluid package for this problem i already selected pink rubinson as a fluid package so the property environment is completely specified next step is go to the simulation 
so uh, in simulation environment uh, i already uh, take this compressor unit and put all the compressor performance curves data in order to save time but i will show you uh, step by step how you will perform this task the first thing is go to this inlet gas uh, stream double click on it and put the inlet condition that are given uh, in the problem statement and you know that the temperature uh, of the inlet gas was 45 degree c and uh, the inlet pressure was 11 bar from this drop down menu select bar and uh, the molar flow rate was 3200 so 3200 the next step is go to the composition tab and uh, specify the gas inlet stream composition and uh, the composition is uh, methane has mole fraction of 0 0.9501 and uh, ethane has 0 0.0003 and propane has 0.0002 nitrogen have 0 0.0397 397 and finally carbon dioxide that has 0 0.0097 so uh, these are the composition of uh, uh, come in inlet gas stream just press ok so the inlet uh, stream is already specified go to the discharge stream double click on it and uh, specify the outlet pressure that is given uh, in the uh, in the problem that was uh, 32 uh, sorry 30 bar so just press 30 and from here change unit kilopascal to the bar okay so this is done cross this one go to this compressor tab and uh, go to design go to parameters so you should not have the adiabatic uh, efficiency or polytropic efficiency value it should be empty there should not be any duty and uh, the operating mode should be centrifugal and curve input option should be single molecular weight and uh, the polytropic method calculation should be Schollert's. the next step go to the rating tab and here uh, you can see i already have four curve curve one curve two curve three curve four and how i added this just from this right side you can just click on this add curve button and then this uh, window will open here you have to uh, ch change the flow unit if necessary but in our case we have flow in cubic meter per hour and the head is in meter you have to specify the speed for this curve whatever you you have your data for your compressor for example i say 5000 and then you have to specify the volumetric flow rate and uh, head uh, i'm just putting some random number for to show you how i uh, build the curves so this is the way how you can uh, add data and when you enter all the data just cross this one and it will come here if you want to activate if i mean if you want to use this curve thus uh, then just click on uh, this icon activate but i'm not going to use this so i'm going to delete this curve okay so i have these four curves for example this is the curve one or it has all the data that i show you in powerpoint uh, slide that i hope you already have noted this is the curve one similarly curve two curve three and this is the final the curve fourth each curve have its specific speed and all the specific data so the first thing you have to add all the uh, curves 
for your compressor and select uh, efficiency as a polytropic efficiency because the data uh, given in the performance curves is for polytropic efficiency not for the adiabatic efficiency the next step you should go to the flow limits and here it says search curve so again i already uh, put all the data that you uh, noted from the uh, powerpoint slide similarly stone valve curve okay so we enter all the data for six curves the next step is just click on this use search curve use stone valve curve again go back to the curves and specify the compressor speed so our compressor is running at a speed of 12,554 rpm okay after that just press this enable curves button so when you press this button you will see your simulation is already converged okay so the what is the next step to analyze the search for that just double press on the compressor go to the design from design go to the parameters from parameters you can see here search analysis a button a, a pop-up button is appearing here search analysis just click this one okay it take maybe some time depending on your computer speed so here you can see a new window is appeared it says the cooler on a discharge side if you click on this drop down menu you will see different scenarios like cooler on discharge side cooler on discharge side no downstream scrubber cooler on a suction side so depending on your current plant uh, uh, layout for anti-surge system you can select one of them for example at the moment it is selected cooler on discharge side uh, and uh, according to that this built-in uh, template is already provided by the high seas but if you change it from cooler on suction side you can see uh, the template is changed according to that high seas also gives you uh, the freedom to build according to your own needs it says custom template so you can build your own uh, system according to your own uh, requirements so what we will in this example we will uh, analyze a surge of a compressor when cooler on a discharge side okay after selecting this just press enter flow sheet okay now the software take us to this environment the the first thing is before starting the analyze uh, search analysis you should be assured that uh, this flow sheet should be fully converged so you can see that all the arrows are uh, dark uh, blue and uh, light green and uh, light red for energy stream so it means uh, we have converged uh, our uh, system for this compressor so if it if this uh, flow sheet is not converged you cannot move forward uh, for the search analysis so the first thing is it should be converged and then the second thing uh, this window shows you all the important uh, operating parameters like loading valve what is the cv of loading valve anti-surge valve check valve hot bypass valve and what are the flow rates that will pass through them and uh, in run control so in run control we can see uh, th there are different uh, built-in scenario number one is discharge valve failure so if discharge valve fail then how compressor will behave if we select this one and if you click here we can say there are other 
uh, three more options one is the control shutdown emergency shutdown scenario and total power loss so in problem statement uh, we want to uh, check the surge uh, conditions or the compressor behavior either it will go on surge or not during the control shutdown scenario and total power uh, loss uh, scenario so first uh, let's try uh, total power loss and uh, it says current time is zero in seconds and the total run time length uh, for this uh, simulation is says 1800 seconds just press this uh, start button and then these different uh, strip charts will appear uh, there are mainly three different charts that are uh, that shows the important and crucial information uh, uh, during the uh, search conditions one is the compressor information that shows the uh, pressure with respect to time and the other one is the hot valve uh, uh, hot bypass valve actuator current position and uh, the third one is uh, the mass flow rate that uh, passing through the compressor and uh, here this window is actually this uh, black line is showing where compressor is running on the performance curve this one is the performance curve one two three and four and this above line is the uh, search line and this below line is the stone valve line so you can see that during total power loss scenario uh, compressor uh, very i mean within uh, first uh, how to for example uh, in first uh, 20 to 30 second it goes uh, it passed to the stone valve uh, boundary and uh, it, and it is not recommended so uh, the the operating parameter the current operating parameters are not well defined for this particular compressor operation so i'm going to stop this simulation here and to analyze the second scenario and then we will perform certain changing to avoid uh, this behavior so first let's check uh, this compressor behavior on a controlled shutdown uh, scenario so just uh, minimize this window these three as well okay and go to the dynamics from the top ribbon and here just press stop button so the simulation is stopped to go to the uh, initial point you just have to press this rewind button so everything will be uh, uh, settled at the initial point now select the other scenario that is the con uh, the control shutdown and then uh, press the run button okay so again we have these three strip charts one is the hot bypass information the second one is compressor information the third one is mass flow rate uh, information so we will see them in later at the moment just check it down uh, this one uh, this red dot that is the operating point of a compressor so the total time for this uh, simulation is around 1800 uh, second so this black line is showing uh, when you uh, uh, control when you perform control shutdown of compressor so how it's going to behave so we want that uh, during the whole shutdown uh, this uh, black line remain between these two boundary elements that is the search line and the other one is the stone well line so here you can see it is almost approaching to the search line so let's see anti-search system 
will work properly or not in this scenario so yes uh, it stopped around 10 percent before the search okay So it's going well within the limit so let's see either we can uh, have the same behavior until the zero speed of compressor or not just wait a little bit So during this simulation is uh, uh, in progress let's check out these uh, three strips chart the this is the first one that is related to the mass flow so I can do this it like for ease of okay so at zero time the simulation started so here there are different uh, uh, important parameters that should be considered for example if i click on this red line so it says it's the recycle mass flow rate so initially it's not so when the recycle valve open the the mass flow rate through the recycle is increased and uh, this one is the anti surge valve actuator position and uh, the blue one is the recycle mass flow rate and uh, the green one uh, is the uh, inlet mass flow rate in kilogram per hour to the compressor so you can see these graphs and analyze what is actually happening uh, during the compressor shutdown so i'm going to minimize this window Similarly, you can analyze the other two. Well, uh, in this scenario, again, uh, compressor did not perform very well. After a certain time, uh, it it passed through the uh, this uh, stone uh, stone valve limit. Okay, so it's already uh, out of limit. Uh, of our data but it shows us that uh, the compressor is not performing well so how we can uh, tune this compressor to perform within this boundary limit okay so let's go back minimize these windows minimize this one this one go to the dynamics and stop the uh, the simulation okay so next what is the uh, what is the parameter that we are going to adjust to avoid these two scenarios in total power loss and in control shutdown we see that in both cases uh, the compressor passed through the stone valve curves we are going to adjust the parameter of this hot bypass valve double click on this valve and we are going to minimize the flow through this valve i am going to set a value 0 0.1 for this valve okay uh, now it is done close this window and go to the dynamics from top ribbon go to the total power loss and run this simulation and see now how this behavior uh, how the compressor behave after the adjusted hot bypass valve parameter so we have to wait because uh, it will take around 
1800 second to complete the complete simulation so you can analyze these uh, three different strip charts and uh, they are really helpful so this black line is showing uh, the behavior of compressor okay so here the power is gone and then the speed of a compressor is going down so compressor is losing its head and uh, decreasing its uh, uh, sorry the flow is decreasing almost constant flow but the head is continuously Well, now you can see that the compressor performed within the boundary limits of uh, search line and uh, uh, the stone well line. So this is the way how you can uh, uh, tune different uh, parameters, particularly the opening positions of uh, anti-search valve. Uh, port bypass valve according to different emergency scenarios that happens during operation so this is a very useful tool for process and operation engineers so similarly you can now perform the analysis for the other scenario that is uh, the control shutdown and i already checked that uh, on the same value that is the 0.1 for the CV value uh, for uh, hot bypass valve, it was uh, doing really great. So I now I hope you understand what is search phenomena, why it happens, what are the effects and the causes of the search, and uh, what are uh, the anti-search uh, uh, systems that are installed on compressors. And finally, the main objective of this tutorial, how to analyze searching in Aspen Hyces. I hope you like my video. Uh, if this video makes some difference in your knowledge, please like and subscribe the channel. So see you in next video. Bye bye.